I'm from Costa Rica. Why happiness when sadness? Why love when suffering? Why? Why blue in a black and white city? There is no middle ground. No in between. No dilatation or bleakness. No. Peregrinations without arrival. Peregrinations that make us who we are. Peregrinations that change us for good or bad. Why I keep asking myself. Why? Why questions without answers? Per perhaps because those answers were in front of us, but the darkness and oversimplification of our confusion blind us. I moved to the United States because my mom got engaged and she married my stepdad in 2008, so she decided to move to the United States. I didn't want to come to the United States. I felt like all my friends and my family live in Costa Rica, so I didn't, I didn't feel like I have to move here because I feel like I won't be um, happy. When my parents told me that we all are moving to the United States, I felt devastated. I feel like everything I know and everything I fought for was gonna just vanish. Moving to the United States at the beginning was painful for me because I didn't know the language at the um, first. And then I, I have to leave my friends, family, everything behind, everything I know behind to move here and just start from, like, from zero. My childhood was sad because I didn't have friends. I, I was like in school, I was this um, fat, nerdy kid that nobody talked to. They used to make fun of me, and it was just unhappy. The first few months was hard, very hard for me to adapt. I didn't know where to go, who to talk to, what to do, and how to do it. To start a new life here was like starting, like finding myself at the beginning because I felt like I didn't really know who I was when I first came here and now I have a clear vision of who I am and what I think I'm going to be in the future. Even though I felt like a Japanese born turtle in a lake full of koi fish, I realized that being different is what makes me unique and defines me as a person and a human being. When I first came here, I felt like I was trapped in this capsule that didn't let me see and communicate with people, as well as it made it impossible for me to find happiness. I felt like the capsule got smaller and smaller, as I kept living here until I finally saw the light and found a way to escape from it and freedom myself. That light was my friends, those whom, whom I met here and still communicate with. I found happiness through paintings, photography, filmmaking, my friends, and track. Let's go brown! Let's go brown! Let's go brown! Especially my school track team. Since my teammates are like my, my brothers, and we all make part of this huge family where we all care for one another. I'm very thankful for our experience since I came to the United States. Because of all those things I experienced, I realized that there isn't a hopeless place.